All right, this kind of just popped up on my feed. Kind of interesting. Get ready. All right, the crowd goes wild as Trump makes big promise for day one. All right, what could that be? I'll give you guys a second to think about this. Let's go down. As he was campaigning, he came out and said he has announced that he will ask Congress to eliminate all taxes on tips for restaurant workers and hospitality workers. He said, Trump said, when I get into office, we're not going to charge taxes on tips, people making tips. We're not going to do it. There's your article right there. Oh, my God, that's pretty good. Uh, because when I get in office, we're, we are going to not charge taxes on tips. The people making the tips, to be clear. Uh, that's the first time you ever said that. Hotel workers, people that get tips, hospitality. And let me tell you that because people in the hospitality, uh, they get a base pay sometimes, not much, and they live off their tips. And to be taxed upon their tips is almost criminal because they're barely just getting by. And it's just not fair to them. They're working hard. They're on schedules. Uh, it's not like a nine to five cushy job where you go and sit in your air conditioned office. Sometimes you're out there. And mainly the most worst part, most worst, the worst part, mainly hard for me, is in the hospitality industry. You're dealing with the public. You're dealing with horrible humans, Americans. Oh, my God. I've seen some of the stuff these uh, service workers have got to go through, have to deal with some of the most uh, most rude, disgusting humans out there, uh, entitled. And you got to just go, oh, man, you feel so bad for them. And then... Uh, I don't know. Then for the government, the government, the government to come in and take their tips, tax the hell out of them, and send it overseas to some godforsaken country is just insane, man. Give these guys a break. Give uh, give everyone a break on this uh, taxation crap, which is over the over the top. But anyway, I like that he said this. I would like him or hate him. Come on, man. You got to look at your bottom line. If um, all I know is for what 2016, 2020, my portfolio was hugely doing really well. My my wages were were high. I didn't have all these incredible food bills, gas bills, uh, even electricity went up after after 2020. I just look at the numbers uh, objectively. I know that's a dumb thought. Oh my God, you're using critical thinking skills to uh, realize what's the best choice here. Uh, oh, don't do that. Uh, we had no wars. Uh, like I said, inflation was 1.1%, 1.3%. It was ridiculously low. Gas was like under two bucks, I think. Oh my God, what else? Housing prices, more uh, interest rates. Everything's just out of control and there's a huge collapse coming, as I mentioned and what I've seen from others. And again, I do my own, my own research, my own due diligence. I doubt everything I hear, but I verify it. I go look and say, okay, this, this guy said this, eh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'll go out, poke around, read things. And you, all you have to do is look at some leading basic indicators in life like shipping. People are not buying, um, are shipping as much anymore. What does that mean? They're not buying. And that trickles all the way downhill because people that make cardboard, their sales are down. Cardboard's used for boxes, right? So uh, there's also, they call a stripper leading indicator. Strippers are not getting the tips they used to get, pun intended, right? Uh, but for the past year, strippers are coming out and their, their income is down because people are not going to strip clubs because they're broke. Uh, casinos, I think, are hurting. They're not going to casinos. People have maxed out their credit cards. They cannot max them out anymore, so we're going to see a lot more defaults on credit cards. Uh, repos on cars are through the roof. Uh, again, when you go buy a $90,000 car, what are you thinking? Stop it. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Uh, housing prices are just through the roof. People go, well, if the rates go down, I'll be able to buy one. No, the house price is still way too high. It's crazy out there. Anyway. Based on those numbers, unemployment, I see, is not just tech, not just tech cutting everything. And Silicon Valley has gone pretty much red. They have realized, they've seen the, they've seen the writing on the wall. They're, the, their whole area is suffering out there. Tech is laying off massively, hugely. And um, they're seeing it, and they're, they're donating to this guy, this Trump guy. Uh, I just follow smart people as well. They're doing stuff. I look into it. Go, They got a good point, man. I'm telling you. Uh, a lot of law, law, lawfare going on. As you all see, it's kind of kind of criminal what they're doing uh, against certain people that don't agree with the mainstream media thought processes. And a lot of people just get busted 
and then they get turned away free for committing crimes. It's just, there's lawlessness. Anyway, it's almost like end times. If you ever know anything about the Bible, if you don't, start reading it. It may, may save your soul, <laughs> but uh, it may, it may not. I don't know. Uh, I think it will. But it talks all about this stuff. It's kind of eye-opening to see what's going on. What, what an interesting time to be alive. But anyway, I like that he did this. He's thinking of the common man, the people that are suffering. Not, you know, getting hard to get by, paying the bills. And when you come in and you tax the hell out of people's tips, it's just, that's just mean. That's just cruel. And uh, just stop that. All right, I'm out.